Hi there, it's April 13th and time for Proverbs 13. I'll just jump over there and we'll just get into it, huh? <clears throat> Living Bible this month, which I found using it this month, that's not, you know, it's a paraphrase, so it's, you know, they change the words around, but I find the direct translation a little better, so we'll compare the two. Verse 1, a wise youth accepts his father's rebuke. A young mocker doesn't. Okay. Over here it says, a wise son accept his, accepts his father's discipline. But a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you can tell the paraphrase by bit. verse 2. Says, the good man wins his case by careful argument. The evil-minded only wants to fight. And the direct is, from the fruit of a person's mouth, he enjoys good. Hmm. You can see those two right there. It's, it's, it's kind of different. Wins his case by careful argument. And this is directed by the, from the fruit of a person's mouth, he enjoys good. Interesting, huh? Verse 3, self-control means controlling your tongue. A quick retort can ruin everything. Right? And that's actually a pretty good one. That's worth highlighting. Hmm? Keep your mouth shut, right? <clears throat> in every chapter in Proverbs somewhere, it says keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Four lazy people want much but get little, while the diligent are prospering. Right, that's pretty, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Five. <clears throat> A good man hates lies. Wicked men lie constantly and come to shame. Right. Six. A man's goodness helps him all through life, while evil men are being destroyed by their wickedness. <clears throat> right and they they say in the living bible I've noticed a lot about a man's goodness or good men but the true thing is righteousness okay righteousness is not the same as being good there's a lot of good people that aren't going to heaven because they don't believe they're not righteous. They don't fear the Lord and follow God. But they're still good, kind-hearted, moral. Okay? The right translation of this is righteousness. Right? Helps him all through life while evil men are being destroyed. It's a big difference. You can't just say a man's goodness because it's not men's goodness. It's fear of the Lord. Okay. Seven, some rich people are poor and some poor people have great wealth. That's true. It's all about joy, isn't it? Joy. Happiness and joy are two different things. Joy is something eternal that you have because you know your outcome. You know you're saved. You know you're going to heaven. Hmm? Being kidnapped and held for ransom never worries the poor man. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It says, the ransom of a person's life is his wealth, but the poor hears no rebuke. I guess you could say that. Huh? Nine. <clears throat> There you go with the good man again. The good man's life is full of light. The sinner, the sinner's road is dark and gloomy. Okay, now over here, I haven't looked at it yet, but you know it's going to say the light of righteousness, of the righteous rejoices. Okay. Righteous, not the good man. Righteous. Okay. 10. Pride leads to arguments. Be humble, take advice, and become wise. Right. 
Humble is one of the main things in all of Proverbs, being humble. Okay? Pride leads to arguments. What's it say over here? Through, through overconfidence comes nothing but strife, but wisdom is with those who receive counsel. Hmm? 11. Wealth from gambling quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows. Right. Have you seen people win the lottery? Gone in a year. Millions of dollars just gone. 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. And they couldn't even, they could, they didn't even change it. That's a direct translation. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when dreams come true at last, there is life and joy. Okay, they did change that part. Direct is the desire filled is a tree of life. Hmm. A dream comes through, and it'll probably... Yeah, but when dreams come true, at last, there is a life and joy. Literally, it is a tree of life. Right. <clears throat> Thirteen, despise God's words and find yourself in trouble. <laughs> Obey it and succeed. Not much more you can say about that, huh? Find yourself in trouble. Fourteen, the advice of a wise man refreshes like water from a mountain spring. <laughs> Those accepting it become aware of the pitfalls on ahead. Hmm. Okay, that works. Fifteen, a man with good sense is appreciated. A treacherous man must walk a rocky road. How do you get good sense? By being quiet and listening, mostly. 16. A wise man thinks ahead. A fool doesn't and even brags about it. Huh. Yeah. Fool displays foolishness. 17. An unreliable messenger can cause a lot of trouble. Reliable communication permits progress. Alright. They talk about fake news right there even back then. Unreliable messenger. <clears throat> right? Fake news, unreliable messengers causing a lot of strife nowadays. And they even had it back then. There you go. 18. If you refuse criticism, you will end in poverty and disgrace. If you accept criticism, you're on the road to fame. On the road to fame. Hmm. Poverty and shame will come to those who neglects discipline or instruction. Huh. You take a lot of liberties with, with verse 18, didn't they? On the road to fame. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> it is pleasant to see plants develop. That is why fools refuse to give them up, even when they are wrong. I realize is sweet to the soul, but it, but it is an abomination to fools to turn away from evil. Okay? Evil. It says evil. They turn away from evil. They're not plans, you know? I love it when a plan comes together. Right. 20. Be with wise men and become wise. Be with evil men and become evil. Well, that's... I've been saying that for quite a while. If you want to be smart, hang around smart people. Right? It's that simple. 21. <clears throat> Curses chase sinners while blessings chase the righteous. Well, that's interesting. Adversity per per pursues sinners, but the righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. That's kind of a liberty on that one, isn't it? 22. When a good man dies, he leaves an inheritance to his grandchildren. 
But when a sinner dies, this wealth is stored up for the godly. People have been using this for a long time for saying you should leave money to your grandchildren to be a good man. Okay. If you the the whole of Proverbs, it never talks about you know being wise as being rich. It says being rich is <clears throat> a benefit of being wise, but I believe that this means that you leave wisdom. That's the inheritance you leave to your grandchildren, is wisdom. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Teach them while they're young and can listen to you and will listen to what you say. And when they're older, sometimes they will too. But wisdom is the inheritance you leave your grandchildren. If they are wise, everything else will come. Yeah. 23, a poor man's farm may have good soil, but injustice robs him of its riches. Injustice, right. It's kind of true, I guess. 24. If you refuse to discipline your son, it proves you don't love him. For if you love him, you will be prompt to punish him. Okay. And, uh, says it better over here. He who withholds his rod hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines him diligently. Right. And that's true. Okay. You're not doing your kids any favor by not punishing them. You can easily tell that from this generation that's growing up now without any discipline. I mean, you wonder what the world's going to come to. I mean, you know it's going to end, but... The good man eats to live while the evil man lives to eat. Okay, that's direct translation is the righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite but the stomach of the wicked is in need okay. eats to the satisfaction of his soul is the actual translation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. eats to live and lives to eat okay so there you go that's Proverbs 13 I highlighted a few things in here. Mm -hmm. And these are, these chapters are comparing good and bad, good and bad, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. No actual advice, just saying good and bad. All right. To a good man wins his case by careful argument. We highlighted that because it was so much different than the original translation. From the fruit of the person's mouth, he enjoys good, or eats good food. Right? Doesn't say anything about a case. We highlighted three. Self-control means controlling the tongue. A quick retort can ruin everything. Right? Keep your mouth shut. Right? We highlighted six because it talks about a man's goodness and righteousness is the word. Okay. Righteous is not a man's goodness. You can be a good man and not be righteous. Okay? There are plenty of good people that are immoral. Don't follow God and don't fear the Lord. <clears throat> so, a righteous man. You know, righteousness guards the way. We're highlighted seven. Some rich people are poor, and some poor people have great wealth. All right. What is that over here? There is one who pretends to be rich but has nothing. Another pretends to be poor but has great wealth. Okay, now that's a little different. Okay. And it's not. And you see these people, and they're everywhere, okay? Their whole life is a facade, okay? They have 
fancy cars and fancy phones and fancy hairdos and fancy clothes and they walk around with their nose in the air and want everybody else to think they're rich when they're not. They're very, actually very poor. Right? And there's some poor people, a lot of rich people actually, are driving around in, in you know, little Toyotas and they dress very modestly and you would never tell by looking at them that, but that they're rich and have rich and have great wealth. Yeah. And it's usually that way. Yeah. Just yeah. interesting contrast. We have later thirteen. Despise God's word and find yourself in trouble. Obey it and succeed. Okay, and it is talking about God's word. Okay, it's not, you know, despise God's word and find yourself in trouble, obey it, and succeed. God's word. And this is the word over here, but then one who fears the commandment, the law. That's the word. Well, that's cool. And we highlighted 20. Good advice. Be with wise men and become wise. Be with evil men and become evil. Straightforward, right? You want to be smart? Hang around smart people. Right. And twenty-two famous verse: When a good, when a good man dies, <laughs> he leaves an inheritance to his grandchildren. But when a sinner dies, his wealth is stored up for the godly. Hmm? An inheritance. It doesn't say money. It says an inheritance. Okay, wisdom. Give them your wisdom. And twenty-four. If you refuse to discipline your son, it proves you don't love him. For if you love him, you will be prompt to punish him. And it says diligently over here. Diligently, always. The punishment is always be the same. If you do this, this is going to happen every single time. Yeah. And if they know that, they'll become wise. And they won't do that because they don't like the consequences. So there you have it, that is Proverbs 13 for April 13th. And we're just gonna keep doing this. See you later today. We are through the Bible in one year, day 104 now, and we're still all about David. He hasn't become king yet. He's running from Saul, and Saul's trying to kill him, so getting kind of exciting. So give us a like if you think about it. Catch up on any you may have missed. Until next time, remember, Stay humble.